What's up, YouTube? Nerdvana86 here. Coming at the $10 game challenge. Pretty epic this week. It's actually kicking off better than I even expected. So I'm going to put a little video together tonight. It's uh, it's only Friday. So I started this challenge with the 10 bucks on Tuesday afternoon. It's only been three days. And I've already built up a decent little collection. I've sold more as the challenge should start out with. And that mine might not be as uh, um, legit. I don't have like my actual every single listing posted, but I will do my best to keep everything, um, you know, show you guys. I have no reason to lie about any of it. I've got all these hauls. So here, I'll show you guys where I'm at right now. All right, everybody. So this is how I'm gonna start the $10 game challenge. I was a little overwhelmed with the grand opening of this place. They were super busy. I was the first in the door though. And a couple people behind me weren't into video games at all. We kind of sat in line for an hour chatting, talking, so. I didn't grab a cart. Will you be my dance partner? In a minute, hon. Just give me one minute. I didn't grab a cart because I was not expecting to find this much, honestly. And I had 65 cash, so it ended up working out perfect. If you see here, subtotal 70.50 tax, total was 74.73. So I paid 65 cash. And then the $10 game challenge I'm going to start with, I put 9.73 on my card. I'm going to call that the fund, which would leave me with 27 cents left right now. And I've gone through everything. So this is what I'm gonna use to fund the $10 game challenge. Which, as you can see, it'll total up. The Just Dance was three. Each of these were a dollar. This was two, and this was two. So that totals up to nine, which would probably be even a little bit less than that with the tax, but since I did it the way I did and was in a hurry, I'm just gonna call it good. Because uh, I got a screen grab, Just Dance goes for close to 20 disc only. There's no manual in here. And the disc is pretty scratched. So I'm going to have to test it. I'd rather not sell it that scratched. I might just try and sell all these controllers first. And then use some of the money to go get this resurfaced before I list it. And I can get this red box, looks like it was a red box rental disc. I can get this sticker off with the hair dryer. So that should be no problem. Not that it would matter anyways. Most people buying this kind of game are probably just buying it to keep their kids busy. So, and I've already got stuff like this for my kids. So yeah, that should be, that should go for close to 20. I'm gonna bundle the Wii remote with a nunchuck. And I should be able to get about 25 to 30, possibly more from that. The Super Nintendo controller, I thought these would be about 15, but I just looked them up and it looks like, especially one in this condition, looks pretty good. I just need to clean it up a bit. And it's a super, it looks like it's a Super Famicom one. Um, this should go for at least 20 on itself. And then maybe this nunchuck by itself, I don't know. I might be able to get another five for that or something, so. Or I'll just hold onto it and bundle it with a remote after I make some profit back on these. But yeah, I'm looking at, should be able to get about 65 to 70 bucks into the $10 game collection off of this stuff. And not bad.
cleaned out. Here's the total haul. I'm supposed to take the day off today, so I gotta make this quick because my girlfriend's out shopping with my daughter. You gotta support your USPS because they dropped me these off for free. That's awesome. Got a bunch of padded envelopes. Um, my first stop today was the Deseret. What did I spend? Uh, $11.66 total. I got this hardcover Happy by Farrell Williams which I don't know anything about, but it says 20 bucks right there. It's in really good shape. My kids like that song, so I might just keep it. I might try and flip it, I don't know. These two games were two bucks each. Neither one's got manuals, but figure I can use them to bundle up. I probably won't sell them individually. They're only both worth about seven, eight tops without the manuals. I didn't even look up this Naruto box set, but it's a three disc. DVD set, so I figured that would be worth it to flip. Though I've only sold a few anime things, but they usually go quick. And then all these VHS were 50 cents a piece. Um, I have a buddy that collects VHS, so I'm pretty much gonna give all these to him, except for probably Godzilla. I might keep just because I like Godzilla. And this one was interesting. This one's still sealed, and it's like a weird blue color, so. I don't know a lot about VHS, but that's all for my friend. And then I went to Goodwill, and what did I spend at Goodwill? I spent seven bucks, because I did the roundup. I got this really cool Marvel poster that's already framed. It's missing the two sides, but I think it still looks pretty awesome. That was $2.99 they charged me. And then I got all these little rock band dongles. I believe these two are the same. They're for the Fender Stratocaster, which I... I've sold one of these before. They usually go for 10 or 12 to 15 a piece. So that was pretty good for a buck each. And I don't know what this one is for. It looks like maybe a keyboard, but it's got the USB and then it has like more of USB inputs on that, that side too. So should be worth it at 99 cents each. And then this last one, I went to the pawn shop here and I spent $121.88 total because they had this Wii U system here. Priced at $99.99. It looks to be in really good shape. And they do have a one-day guarantee. It was missing the HDMI cable out of this bag, but she threw it in. And then she said since I bought the console, she gave me the Smash Bros. disc only for a buck. And... I got home and I just realized the con it's a Wii Motion Plus remote that was $14.99, a black one. And it looks like she forgot to put it in the bag, but I called them back and they said they're just gonna hold it for me tomorrow so I can go back and pick that up. But, oh, that was an excellent haul. I should be able to sell the console alone for like 160, 170, and then get another 20, 30 maybe out of the Motion Plus remote, so. Excellent, excellent haul. And I gotta go put all this stuff away. Later. All right. Looks like my new buddy Rocky wants to be part of the video. This is my new dog. But so it, and Gemma. So the $10 game challenge started with the thrift shop on Tuesday. Hey hun. I got Okay, where can I Hey. It's not working. Hey right. okay. video lovers. Hey, I got the Just Dance game, two nunchucks, the Wii remote. And the SNES controller. Not, okay, I'm figuring out what I was... That's the price I paid for everything. So I started off, and I bought all that stuff in the one day. I had 27 cents left. 
The first thing to sell was the Wii remote and nunchuck. I got 20 bucks out of that. So I deducted 15% out of that. Gave me 1727. Um and then I paid 315 for these Guitar Hero dongles, which I found 3 of at Goodwill the other day. I already sold one of those as well. It sold for 30 bucks. So that I took 15% of that and that left me with 2550. So then I was at 3962 and I got this sweet Facebook pickup today for all these Super Nintendo games. I got these 8 games for 25 bucks. So my collection is now at, I have 1462 in the fund to spend still. And I think what I'm gonna do here is start with these classics. I'm gonna keep Donkey Kong 1 and 2 because they got really nice labels. I'm gonna keep Super Mario World because the same. And I think I'll just hold on to Contra 3 for a while even though its label is pretty ripped right there. It's still a classic. And since I've made more money back with my fund, I think I might just end up keeping this Super Famicom controller now because it's in really nice shape. And this is what I still have to sell. I got two more dongles. I swapped out my black nunchuck with a white one just because I got the Wii U bundle that I'm gonna sell that with. I still have Just Dance Disney Party up listed on eBay. And then I just cleaned all these up and haven't listed any yet, but I'm going to list Zelda Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Jurassic Park, and Jurassic Park The Chaos Continues. So I should get around 70, should be looking at like over a hundred more dollars into the game fund with this stuff. Because this is the same dongle that sold for 30, if I can get another 30 off that. I have a lot of views and one watcher on this and I have it posted for 30. So even if I make good money back on those two things, then I can just take these that aren't selling, keep them, put them in the collection or something. And I'm sure these games will sell just fine. So yeah, that's it for the first week.